Ticonderoga. He's a modern man, a modern man. He does yoga. Watch him do his dance. Rump, rump, rump. In his bandit pants. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, idiots. This is Corbin. My guy. Alexa. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Turn your head and cough. It's time. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for supporting us on Patreon. What he said was thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Sometimes the patronage gets me quite tipsy. Uh, Overwhelmed. <laughs> PK for those of you who were in the know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did you do with your hands? I didn't do anything with my hands, oh, I did something with my I eyeball. Just, for those of you in the know, like the British... No! I was like, what? No, I said, for those of you in the know, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> okay. What PK means. For some reason, I thought How you were like that. How he got that? Okay. that. I, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah. I told you, I'm tipsy. Um, but today... What are we doing? I have no idea, I just show up. You're the only one Me I too. Know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we're doing a speech. Hey! We've reacted to one video, not of his, about him a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And yes. <laughs> it's, uh, I want to read his name. Oh, yes. Do you remember him? APJ. Abdul Kalam. Yes. And this is the inspirational lesson for lifetime, how to manage failure and success. So we did, I believe, 50 things you didn't know about this guy. Yes. And he was like this big, beloved scientist, I believe. Yeah. Um, well, maybe he's not. I don't know. Uh, no, yeah, I was, I was, I don't, I can't confirm the scientist aspect of what you said. I can political guy, I can't remember. What we had no. said in regard to. I can't remember. But, it's supposed to be a pretty good speech. We haven't done speech in a while, so I was like, hey, No, when was speech. the last speech? It's been months. I mean, it might have been the stupid speech. Be stupid, but, uh. Was it? Uh, I think it was. I remember the reparations speech. That was before that. Yeah, that was way before that. No, All right, different guy. Right. Here we go. <laughs> oh. ah! He taught me, no book taught me, but that one person, that institution, Rebel. that taught me such a beautiful my lesson. Brain. So I thought of sharing with you how to manage success, most importantly the failure. I repeat a number of times, I don't mind repeating that one incident. That incident for me is a university education. He's beloved. I have not read anywhere. I have uh, so far. I have gone around the orbit 71 times around the sun. I have not gone through any education, such a beautiful education I got in 1979, 1980 period, I thought of sharing with you on this occasion. It is like this, 1979, August 17th, we were ready for launch of a satellite launch vehicle with 44 subsystem and thousands of, thousands of components. It was built in Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and at that time Professor Shati Stavan was the Chairman Atomic Energy Space Commission and he is also Space Center. And he gave me the task in 1973 to build a satellite launch vehicle, uh, to put a satellite in the orbit 1973, he gave me this task. In 79, we were ready, thousands of engineers, 10,000 of workers and staff, they all worked together. Then we moved the satellite launch vehicle from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center uh, to the now Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Kota. The, so the launch vehicle was uh, was the the launch pad and that day 17th August 1979 and I am the mission director, project director and we are all in the control center and computer takes over. Of T minus eight minutes, computer will take over. It was very difficult for me as a mission director to check hundreds of parameters. So it has to be checked. Computer, we hand over the whole launch of the uh, rocket system to the computer. So when T minus eight minutes came, I handed over to the uh, to the computer for the launch on 17th August 7, 1979, and thousands of people are waiting for the launch mission centers and they are working throughout the country and some downrange stations exactly at T minus 8 minutes computer took over and then at T minus 4 minutes computer put a hold 
it says don't launch. So we are all, because at that time, the whole rocket system alive and every yes, explosive system, propellant system, electronic system, all are on ready to launch. Computer says don't launch. At T minus 4 minutes, then immediately a computer printout comes out. There is some problem in the second stage control system, this leakage, so you don't launch. Behind me, there are a number of experts, 6 7 experts, my, my expert 10 years, 20 years experienced people. I turn to them and they are their computers to find out what happened and they tell me within a, within a minute, they say there's a problem in the second stage control system and we cannot launch, computer says, but we believe as experts, the, the igniter, the, that is oxidizer, is sufficiently more there, even though there's a leakage in system, you can launch, they ask me to launch. That is, I can say to the computer, to shut off the computer, I can manually launch the rocket system. Mm -hmm. I took the, I discussed with my experts, I believed in them, I agreed with them, I am responsible for it, I immediately put the rocket in the manual mode. So rocket took off, 100 seconds, beautiful launch, and the rocket first stage uh, did its job, it's a four stage rocket system. Then the second stage took off, Within a minute, within a second, it we got into spin. That means it should be steady. It's a controlled rocket system by a guidance system. But it was going to spin. I knew I lost the rocket system. Mm. Within few seconds, instead of putting the satellite in the orbit, the whole system went to Bay of Bengal. So it was a failure. And then how do you handle a failure? It's very important for the entrepreneurs. Life is not so simple. Is uh, we have to handle the failures with stout heart. My chairman, mm -hmm. that is the Professor Satish Dhawan, exactly at 6.30, I was very tired of uh, continuously working. He come to my room, you join me for a press conference. Huh. On that day, press con the morning, there's a press conference. Hundreds of uh, press reporters, media people have assembled. Just Professor Stavon told me, Satish Stavon told me, I am going to handle the press conference, you are going to get, come with me. He took me there. And there was a press, the national press, the international press, they asked a lot of questions. How can you put 20 crores in Bay of Bengal, when they asked. And like that, so many serious questions, after all, people will ask questions, the people's money. So like that, number of questions were there. And uh, Professor Satish Stavon said, Yes, it's a failure. First time we have launched, we have gained a lot of system and definitely we will succeed. I'll give the, all the support my de technologies. I'll give the, all the support to my scientists. I will, uh, we will succeed in a year's time, he said. Friends, did you observe what happened there? I am the mission director. I am the project director. I have failed the missions. With me, 5,000 people have worked. But Chairman Indian Space Research Organization, he took the responsibility of the failure. He completely switched my failure to his failure. This is the leadership quality. Absolutely. Ex exactly after one year, that is 18th July 1980, we go to the launch pad and the countdown starts. T minus eight minutes, I hand over to the computer. Computer checks out first stages. It, it, uh, it, it, uh, it initiates the rocket system. First stage gives the required velocity. Second stage gives the required velocity. Third stage gives the required velocity. And fourth stage required the escape velocity for the put the satellite in the orbit. I am seeing in front of me. How, what is the performance taking place? I took the mic, I put the mic, I announced all the station. Here is your mission director, the satellite is in the orbit and we congratulate you, I told them. No, that's not the important, that's one of the important things happened. But after 30 minutes, Vikram Satish Tavan called me, go for press conference, you conduct the press conference, he said. Can you see the significance? 
Failure you took it is success you gave me <laughs> to my team. Yeah. This is a great lesson. It's a great lesson. This is a, this is a great lesson of which no university taught me, no book taught me, but that one person, that institution that taught me such a big lesson. So I thought of him. That music was from a film. Yeah, it was. What was it from? I don't um, remember. Uh, uh, theory of Everything. Yeah. Have you seen it? Isn't that no. what they do? But how do you know that? that? How do you know that? that? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That was not Theory of Everything. <laughs> it, was, it was A Beautiful Mind. It was A Beautiful Mind. Oh, it's A Beautiful Mind. Russell Crowe was looking at all the things going around his head. Mm -hmm. It's it was a, beautiful a Beautiful Mind. If you haven't seen A Beautiful Mind, Watch that film. Uh, it's my favorite film depicting, it's obviously a true story, but it depicts mental illness in one of the most profoundly beautiful ways I've ever seen. Uh, but back to that. Also, Paul Bettany steals the show. Go on. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on that because, it, and be honest about your, you know, I know you will be, I don't even need to preface it with that. What are your thoughts on Don't that? lie to us. <laughs> we don't have a lot. Our usual. <laughs> did anything, did you agree with it? Did you disagree with it? I agreed with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a, uh, I didn't know where he was going because I didn't know the story. I right. I was not aware of, uh, but it's um, a wonderful story. It was like you, he was talking about leadership and what you, you wish if you have a boss or if you have who's ever over you at the time. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, I just ruined it. <laughs> um, but uh, that's how, how you wish they would would act when they would, even though if you fail miserably, um, they will take the responsibility for it uh, mm -hmm. because they're in charge. Mm -hmm. And then in the same scenario, when you're success, they're not the one taking taking on that uh, yes. praise. They're giving it out. Um, so it's 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 a great speech in terms of. Uh, showing leadership to what people true leadership is. It's, true it's leadership. taking the failure when, even if it's not your fault. Correct. And then also giving out the praise when you could take it. Correct. Yourself. And the lessons learned from failure. Um, and it, it's, I'm a, I've mentioned this before on the channel, I'm a big, big fan of the mindset of Navy SEALs. And there's a couple of Navy SEALs who've written books. Jocko Willink is one of them, and another one is Commander Rourke Denver. And they're not just SEALs, they've run missions uh, and they have run SEAL BUDS training and have written books about the SEAL mindset and what it takes to be a Navy SEAL. And this one book, Jocko Willink and a, a partner of his wrote together called Extreme Ownership. Mm -hmm. And it's about one of the lessons that's learned and why so many from the military are great at teaching management skill mm -hmm. because they understand true leadership. And Jocko Willink has said, our mistakes are paid for in blood. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what it means to make a mistake until you realize the mistake you made literally cost a friend's life. Mm -hmm. yep. And you sleep with that that night. And mm -hmm. you recognize when you're out on the field. And, and the other thing that's really important about that is that you can do everything right and still have everything go wrong. Mm -hmm. And can you live with that? Can you live with that reality and that life isn't fair? And the two lessons in his speech that are really resonate with me are the first one in regard to the fact of in true leadership, and it's very lacking in world leaders today, is the reality of whenever anything goes wrong, you take ownership of that. You own it, even if you weren't the direct person responsible for it, you recognize there's things I could have and should have done that would have contributed to that and where did I play a part? And then the second part is that when it goes well, you give the credit to the other people. <laughs> you don't take it with an arrogant slap on the back. The other lesson, it always reminds <clears throat> me of physical fitness, is that you don't get gains without failures. One of the traits of strength training is to push to failure. Uh, reps and sets are great, but it really doesn't mean anything unless you take the muscle to total failure. You literally cannot do anything anymore and you're still trying. It's only after you've reached failure that you're gonna get gains. Mm -hmm. And that principle is just a universal truth. And that's what he's talking about, is okay. that you don't get okay. gains until you push through failure. And you have to not just get to the failure, you have to push through the failure. Mm -hmm. So this is, Right up my alley. That's a great point, Micah. Um, <laughs> 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 I 
Um, but yeah, I want to know more about uh, this gentleman because we did one with him, and you guys said he was this beloved. Beloved, uh, like so, nobody in India is more beloved. So I would love to learn more about him. I know we've reacted to the fifty things we don't know about him, and this is our first speech. So if there's other speeches or videos or other ways we can get to know this guy more, uh, I know our books he's written. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all of the above. Please let us know, um, and um, we'll try to get Micah to talk less next time. You should stop dominating things on the channel, would you? <laughs>